Hey, Discovery Community Church families, thank you so much for tuning in to our next edition of the Discovery Dashboard video element. Uh, we are starting a series right now, thanks to the help of Pastor Ben Taylor, uh, called Disciple. And what does that mean to be a follower of Jesus Christ? Uh, before I get into the thick of that, I just wanted to uh, kind of bring all of your parents' attention back to an element that we started talking about last week. Uh, in last week's edition of the Discovery Dashboard, and that's the four C's of the family ministry here at Discovery Community Church. Uh, or if you want to think explosively, it's the C4 package, okay? Uh, and so the four C's basically talk about the four different roles that the Bible calls parents to be when it comes to being the spiritual leaders of your homes. Uh, the four C's, uh, some of you parents are all, like, could easily probably, you know, spot these on a daily basis in your family. Uh, but the first C is being a cheerleader. Sometimes you just got to motivate your kids. Sometimes you just got to, you know, kind of get them kicked into gear to get up in the morning. Uh, so sometimes you're a cheer cheerleader. Um, sometimes, even though being a parent doesn't mean being your child's friend, sometimes it does mean being their confidant. When they don't have anyone else to go to, um, not necessarily that you're the bottom of the barrel, but you're the only person that can really understand them and be their friend in that moment. Sometimes you're called to be a confidant. Uh, sometimes you're called to be a coach, right? Sometimes you're called to teach them, to train them, uh, and you have those intentional moments, maybe even sometimes accidental moments, that your example or your words can actually teach your kids a life lesson. And then sometimes you're a counselor. And a lot of times, a counselor uh, to a kid isn't necessarily giving advice. Maybe it's a little bit more the coach. But sometimes it's just being the person that listens to them. Maybe it's as they're going to bed at night, and you know, you're just there to listen to their heart before they shut their eyes. So those four C's are something that we're going to constantly uh, be talking about on the back side of the Discovery Dashboard PDF. Uh, we introduced it last week. I just wanted to kind of bring your attention back to it because every single week we're going to be talking about you know, those four different ways that you can be applying the Bible lesson, the golden thread for the week, whether it's uh, what you guys are learning uh, from Pastor Ben or myself in uh, the main service, the sermon, or it's what's, you know, the teenagers, the elementary kiddos, the preschoolers are learning with their curriculum. Uh, and so, you know, it's a way to kind of get that conversation uh, past just Sunday afternoon uh, to some way that you can live it out in your life. And going forward, I'm going to be uh, reaching out to parents if you guys can think of, you know, you know, any ideas or ways that we can kind of actually uh, make this, you know, a little bit more interactive on social media, perhaps. That basically, hey, uh, when it comes to being a cheerleader, I had this great idea. This is a good way. Uh, that you could implement this week's golden thread. Uh, I'm going to be reaching out, you know, asking for input there. All right, so that's the four C's, the C4 explosive uh, family ministry uh, vision for our families. Uh, as far as this week, we, like I said earlier, we are starting this new series called Disciple. You know, what does it mean to be a follower of Jesus? And uh, the cool thing about this is even though it, the word disciple is not really something that's thrown around in our everyday American subculture, it is actually an idea, a concept that people in Jesus' time and day would have been very familiar with. So in their time and day, it was a great honor if your kid grew up and became a disciple of one of these spiritual guru rabbis. That this rabbi said, like, wow, their parent, the parents of this kid or this young man or, you know, whatever, prepared them to be my disciple, and they did a good job. I want, I want this person right here. And so parents back in that day, they knew that, you know, through their example, through their knowledge and their sharing of the, their growing knowledge uh, and sharing of the Bible would actually prepare their children to one day be followers of some spiritual leader. The cool thing that we're starting here is that our kids have a very similar opportunity with your leadership as their spiritual leaders, that you can prepare them right now, no matter where you are on uh, your own personal walk with Jesus Christ, you can prepare them to one day choose to be a disciple, a follower of Jesus themselves. And for some of you, you know, those of you that have, uh, you know, young adult, teenage children, some of them have already made that decision. That's awesome. And so you can kind of, you know, be a disciple with them. And so our curriculum, uh, the, the three sets, both uh, the teenagers, the elementary, and the preschool, all three of those are going to focus on an element of what it means to be a disciple as is appropriate for their age. So, of course, teenagers, you know, we're going to be, you know, talking a little bit about what does that new faith, you know, hitting the ground running discipleship look like. Elementary, it's going to be, you know, basically the teaching, the, the understanding, the spiritual knowledge of what it means to follow Jesus. And preschool, we're talking about what does a Jesus life look like, period, 
right? And we're gonna, each one's gonna build upon each other for you parents to have a discussion with your kiddos later this afternoon or whenever you're, you know, you're watching this later on in the week. Uh, so with that, let me go ahead and pray for us and I'll let you guys uh, get on going. <laughs> uh, Precious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you right now, and I just want to thank you, Lord, so much for all of our families that are represented online here at Discovery Community Church. Thank you so much that Paul's words in Colossians 2.5, that even though we can't be together in person, but we're together in spirit, that that is true right now. Even though we're not separated by, you know, hundreds of miles in Bible land, but we are uh, separated because of virus, Lord, we thank you for that. And Lord, we also pray for a quick end to this pandemic, Lord, that you can heal those that have been affected and you can end this swiftly. Uh, Lord, we ask for a miracle that people would point back to you. Lord, as we go forward, I just pray for a special blessing of equipping of all the, the fathers and all the mothers, all the uh, grandparents and grand, uh, you know, great grandparents that have a role in leading their families. I just pray that you would bless them this week and for the rest of this series uh, to train their children up in the way that they should go. Uh, Lord, we pray all this right now in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you guys so much for your time. Uh, go ahead and have a good week. I'll see you next time.